Hey guys, it's Coach Popjack here to bring you your Wednesday workout. You only need two things for this workout. You need one dumbbell or one backpack and your body. And that's all you need. So let's jump into the workout. Let's look at it. Today's workout is going to be a strength push workout. So all the movements on this list are going to be push movements that focus on different muscles. Now it's six rounds, but it's not a whole lot. And I'll explain to you why. Each movement is a single arm or single leg movement, and each side you do counts as one round. The reason I have it as six rounds and not three rounds is because you're going to be doing this entire list on one side of your body first. So let's say you're starting on your right. You're gonna do the right arm here, and then you're gonna move straight into this. Right arm, right arm, right, right arm slash right leg. And then that's one round, and then you're gonna come back to the top, Left arm, left arm, left arm, left leg. And then that's two rounds. Three, all the way to six. So let's look at each movement. I'll break it down and give you any scaling that you might need. First movement's gonna be an L-sit single arm overhead press. So you're gonna be doing five of these. L-sit, legs out straight, trunk and chest upright. Keep that trunk nice and tight. You're gonna take the weight, bring it to your shoulder, you're going to push up over to the overhead position, bring it back down to the pocket. By pocket, I mean right next to your shoulder. And you got five of these. If you need a scaled version of this, you can put your other hand on the ground to help support your core. You have five of them. After you do the five, keep the weight by your shoulder. You're going to lay down all the way flat on the ground until you're in that bench press position. So by bench press position, I mean the angle from your armpit should be about 45 degrees. You're gonna keep the weight stacked above your wrist and your elbow, and you have five floor presses. With the floor press, you're up, and then as you're coming down, you're going down slow, and as soon as that arm touches the ground, that weight's coming right back up. So boom. Boom, boom, five times. After that, you're gonna go ahead and put the weight back down on the ground. You can get up, go ahead and stand up. You're gonna pick the weight back up and you're gonna push it into the overhead position for your single arm overhead lunges. I'm gonna go ahead and lunge down so I can talk about the overhead position. So the weight is gonna be above your ear up into that upright position. A way you can get into the position to get into the correct position is so you take the weight, you start at a press position like you would in the overhead press, push it straight up and just lock your arm out. Because if the arm comes too far backwards, you can put strain on the elbow, or not the elbow, the shoulder. If it comes too far forward, that's moving more strain. So you want it directly in line with that ear, right above the ear. When you're doing your reverse lunges, their opposite leg is gonna be the one doing the movement. So my right arm is up, so my left leg's moving. So one, two, three, four, five. If you don't feel comfortable doing the overhead position, go ahead and put it in a front rack position. So by that, I mean right here, right by the shoulder, and you're gonna lunge like that. After your lunges, the weight's gonna go by your side. It's right here. My right arm is loaded, so that means my left, right, right leg is doing the calf raise. So to do the calf raise, you can start off one foot off the ground, wherever you feel comfortable and you won't lose balance. And you're gonna take the other foot, that, the one you're doing the calf raise on, and you're gonna go up all the way to your toes. I gotta find my little center of balance. So right there, five of these. The scaled version of this, if you're struggling to keep your balance, you're still gonna do single leg, you're gonna go up. When you come down, put both feet back on the ground. Up, both feet down. Up, both feet down. Boom, five of these, and that's one round. Then you're gonna switch sides, 
do the entire workout or the entire list of movements with the other side. So like this, one, five, five, Five. Five. And that'd be two rounds, and you go all the way to six rounds. <sighs> Last part of the workout is going to be four time, and you're going to do a list of movements. Now we've done something like this, super similar. I just lowered the reps a little bit on each of it and changed a little bit of the movements. So you're gonna start off 30 sit-ups, 30 jumping jacks. Then you're gonna move to 20 sit-ups, 20 jumping jacks, 10 sit-ups, 10 jumping jacks, five sit-ups, five jumping jacks, and you're done. No more. But you're gonna move through this as fast as you can, and this is what it's gonna look like. For the sit-ups, for the sit-ups, you're going to be butt doing butterfly sit-ups. So that's with the bottom of your feet touching each other, legs out like so, go back, hands above your head, come up, touch your feet. One, three, five, all the way to 30. So boom, 30, you're gonna get up, jumping jacks, 30 of these, and you're gonna get on the list, 20, 20, 10, 10, five, five. If you need a little help with the sit-ups, you don't have to do the butterfly, just put like either weight on your feet or put your feet underneath the couch. One, two, three, all the way to 30. So that's it for the workout today, guys. Get after it today. Join one of the Zoom classes. We have one at 7 a.m., 12, or lunchtime, and 5 p.m. Ben coaches the 7, Taylor coaches the noon, and I coach the 5 p.m. We'd love to see you guys there. Keep up the great work. Stay after it.